hello guys and welcome back to the channel today is uh day three of oshkosh 2023 and uh we're here at the eaa museum in oshkosh wisconsin and right in front of us we have what i believe is a replica of the spirit of saint louis which of course was famously famously flown by uh, Lindbergh, charles Lindbergh, from the united states to uh, continental Europe in what was actually the first non-stop transcontinental uh, crossing of the Atlantic so uh, you can take a close look here and see the aircraft uh, most of it was full of uh, gasoline or aviation gasoline and uh, he barely had like a, I think a little periscope that he could use to look out to see what was in front of him uh, the takeoff run was quite long and he barely cleared the trees at the end of the runway and uh, Yeah, so this is What that aircraft looked that flew I think for more than 24 hours 36 hours even more to get across the Atlantic And of course this is fabric covered When you look at this in person, you just imagine how daring those guys were to take such risks like Lindbergh did. And here you have the engine. Radial engine. And like I said, there's no nothing in front, no um, cockpit window looking out front so you can only look out through the side from the side so they've made some movements they brought more aircraft out here so we'll take the time to explore this looks like a vehicle one here which is very bright yellow and I do apologize I do apologize for padding so fast you guys can see where the fuel is managed on a an aircraft manufacturer today that would be considered very sketchy and there's a very long line here to catch the bus this place is extensive it's very large there you have another aircraft with the ghost lock in place on the tail very nicely polished and you can see the antenna on top of the cockpit A beautiful aircraft and it's got the wooden prop and on the wooden props you guys can see where they have a piece of metal to protect the leading edge and uh, I think this is just a fun fact I think uh, from the pilots perspective uh, most American engines would spin clockwise Whereas the British, I understand, they've spin counterclockwise. I don't know if it's true, but something I heard. And here is an air coupe. also with a wooden prop nicely polished
go ahead and cross since we're not catching this bus. Those look like Curtis aircraft. I'm not so sure. It rained out here this morning. That's why you see there's some water left on the ground. It's a couple of war birds over here. I don't know if I can zoom in. helicopter operations with the Bell helicopter now there's a couple of war birds over there That's where you have food and the party is always there at night.
the model aircraft. All of these have nitro engines. aircraft. If you look there you see the control line. The line at the concession stand, so I guess I'll skip that. Uh, there isn't really much to look at, at here uh, except for the DeLorean, and then there's a couple of other aircraft in, in a hangar here. Take a look at the DeLorean, it never gets old. Oh, those other hangars are closed for today. Otherwise, actually, the launcher is over there. Here's a DeLorean.
and we'll try to catch the bus to get to the main airfield where we have uh, more aircraft. Yeah, there are lines everywhere here today. First two days, there were there weren't any lines. And here is the bus. Catch you guys on the other side. <laughs> 